on Prince of Wales Island, Alaska. So I hear that Mike is picking up his dad today. I've never met the man, heard a lot about him. The boys of Papik Logging are expecting company. Owner Mike Papik's dad. How old is he? 82. Any comes that jumpers? He probably would. He, he, no, he's gonna he, yell at you he, for not doing he, 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 he would shame. He would shame most of you. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Papik is a legend in the logging industry. I'm just proud that he's coming up here. He used to be the best logger in the world. And his son, Mike, has spent a lifetime trying to keep up. He hasn't been up here to, to visit me or see me for, since I've been here. But father and son haven't always seen eye to eye. He's a canker, so he never in his life told me I've just done anything good. Mike used to work for his dad until he decided to make a move north. I was offered a job up here, and he told me just go then because they get so good. So we didn't talk for six years, but this year he finally come up. That's him. I'm glad you finally made it up to Alaska. Well, I don't see any dents here, Mike. What's wrong with it? You're looking at the wrong side. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen you in that long. Oh, about five years, six years. Well, I think I have five guys on my crew that my dad fired at one time or another. How do you feel? Not that bad. Oh, good. I you never ever thought I'd live this long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like it up here? Yeah. I got a good boss. He takes good care of me. He does. He hasn't even fired you yet. No, he hasn't even tried. <laughs> They're good people. It was just him. Got just a difference in personalities again. He just call her cuss and scream all day long, and I don't believe in it. You won't give me a day off. Um, no. You get a day off, you think you need to go to Reno, so know, you don't get he no day off. You might not come back. Reno. You're still gambling. Yep. Oh, Toby. Yeah. Is it the women down there or the gambling? Both. While the crew gets back to business, Mike gives his dad a tour of the site. Just about, just about got her done. Get one more road, pull all that out of there. And well, most people that come up here, I think it's the romance and the sound of Alaska to come here. And I'd say about half of them are shocked when they get here and see where they're going to work. Yeah. Right? Exactly. It's a big culture shock, too, just to be here and be so far from everything. That hurt me to leave. I mean, that's where my family is. I didn't, didn't want to leave, but you have to work to survive. So my whole goal in life is to be successful and have you be happy with what I've done. Well, the son of the logger, you know what? You're doing excellent, Michael. Good. I'm quite proud of you. All right, thank you. Yeah. If you had a few more women out here, you know, it'd be a little more <laughs> successful for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, thanks, Dad. Glad you made it up. Hopefully, things are on the mend. <laughs> uh, two grizzly bears. <laughs> Not the best looking one, though. <laughs> but I'm bigger. Okay. <laughs>